Hey guys, it's Shirley Bobshot, foodie gardener at Home and Family Show. And today I want to show you how you can take cuttings from your bay laurel plant and your rosemary so that you can make your own herbs and dry them. It's really easy. One of the most important things is that you harvest your leaves at the right time. The best time to do your cutting is in the morning before it gets hot or before it gets too cold. That's when the essential oils and the flavorful oils are most concentrated on the leaves for both the bay laurel and the rosemary. So what you do is you're gonna cut about a six inch stem and you don't wanna cut you know, this one stem and harvest all your leaves from there. You wanna go around your plant and cut a little bit from each tip because that's the best way to regenerate more growth. Same thing with your rosemary. I took some cuttings, come on over here, let me show you how easy and how low tech this is. I have a cookie uh, drying rack here and I'm gonna open this up because there's a lot of wind going around. <gasps> it actually moved them. But these have been drying here for a few hours. And what I did was I took the fresh herb and you just individually remove each leaf. Now, some herbs that you dry, you dry as a, as a group, like say your parsley or your basil, but not your bay leaf. So you wanna space them out as I did these before the wind took them together. And as you can see, they are dry. They're crunchy. Now, what you wanna make sure is that you don't expose this to the direct sun. So you can dry your bay leaves outdoors like this and you know put it in a place like in a covered patio like we have because what you need is you need heat and you need a little bit of circulation of air. You could also do this indoors but in about three days it will be nice and dry and then all you can do is get some of these uh, little uh, bottles. You can get them at Michael's or Joann's and you can bottle your own and this will last for about a year. Okay? That okay, now we're on to rosemary. Unlike the bay laurel, you can dry this as a group. You don't have to separate the stems. So what I did, I took a few cuttings, as you can see here, and then I used some cotton twine, and then I bundled them, just like this. And I wanna show you, this is gonna be hung to dry, but in a special way. Ta-da! I'm just using one of my plant uh, holders. But what I did was I put a paper bag and I covered it and I kind of opened it so that the air can circulate through because you definitely need air to come through or it will not dry, it'll get fungus. Important things to notice that I put the name of the, of the spice and the specific type and then the date because this is gonna take about two weeks to dry. So what you do is this. You take this into your house, into a room that's got nice air circulation, but is dark. So maybe an extra bedroom. It could even be not a closet because a closet doesn't have air circulation and you need it. So you just hang it to dry and in about two weeks you check it out. And this I just did, but let me show you what it's gonna look like. It will look like this. And this of course is after I ran my hand through the leaves. Let's say if this was dry, you're just gonna take them off and they come off really easy when they're dry. And then it's just really simple to go ahead and put them in a jar like this. Again, label it. It can be in your cupboard for a year to keep as fresh as possible. If you wanna do something fun, give it away for the holidays. There we have our Tuscan Blue Rosemary our bay leaves, it's got the date on it. And of course, Booty Gardener. I hope that you'll come back and watch the show on the Hallmark Channel weekdays at 10 a.m.